Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to go through a quick review of how to subtract large numbers. Let's jump into number one, where we have 7,724 minus 3,540. The first thing that we need to do is set this problem up. So 7,724 minus 3,540. Now when we set up a subtraction problem, we need to line up the places. For example, in number one, we have the ones place, the four and the zero. We have the tens place, the two and the four. We have the hundreds place, the seven and the five. And then we have the thousands place, the seven and the three. Once we have everything lined up, we can subtract. And we always start with the furthest place to the right. When working with whole numbers, that's always going to be the ones place. So we have four minus zero, which is four. Now we work our way left. So next we have the tens place. We have two minus four, which we can't do. We need to borrow. So we need to borrow from the place to the left, which is the hundreds place. So let's borrow from this seven, which is now a six, and we have a 12. So 12 minus four gives us eight. Now we work our way left to the hundreds place where we have six minus five, which is one. And then lastly, we have the thousands place. Seven minus three is four. We can place the comma in our answer and we end up with 4,184. Now, before moving on to number two, I do wanna talk about borrowing and what is happening when we do so. For example, when we borrowed from the seven in number one, we borrowed one from the seven, technically we borrowed 100 because that seven is in the hundreds place and has a value of 700. Now we are subtracting in the tens place. So we technically have 20 minus 40, which we can't do. So borrowing that one with a value of 100 gives us 120. So we have 120 minus 40, which is 80. That eight in the answer in the tens place has a value of 80. Now, as we went through the problem, we thought of this as 12 minus four, which equals eight. But this is something to keep in mind anytime you need to borrow. Let's move on to number two, where we have 417,608 minus 85,329. Let's set this problem up. So 417,000, 608 minus 85,329. Now that we have the problem lined up, we can subtract and we start with the ones place. We have eight minus nine, which we can't do. So we need to borrow from the place to the left. But the place to the left, the tens place, we have a zero, so we can't borrow from a zero. So we need to go another place to the left to the hundreds place. Let's borrow from the six in the hundreds place. So this is now five. We have a 10 here, but we need to borrow from the 10 in order to subtract in the ones place. So that's a nine. And then we end up with 18 minus nine. That gives us nine. Now we can work our way left. Next is the tens place. Nine minus two is seven. Now the hundreds place. 5 minus 3 is 2. Now the thousands place. 7 minus 5 is 2. And now the ten thousands place. We have 1 minus 8. We can't do that, so we need to borrow from the hundred thousands place. That's now a 3. And we have 11 minus 8, which is 3. And then the hundred thousands place. We just have a 3, so we can bring that 3 down place a comma in our answer, and we end up with 332,279. So there you have it. There's a quick review of how to subtract large numbers. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.